Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a real talk. We're gonna break it down. We are gonna break it down. I, I, I just, let's be honest. Let's stop doing pushing narratives that are just not it, okay? And as you can tell in the title below, we are going to be talking about money in relationships, especially when you make more money than your partner does, or they more, make more money than you do, or whatever. We're going to talk about this little elephant that's in the room. It's, 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 it's huge. It's actually a huge elephant that's in the room. The fact that money in relationships is not discussed enough. And we, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about why also when someone makes more money than the other, how it impacts the relationship when it shouldn't even have to. Let's get into the video. If you are subscribed, thank you. If you're not, welcome to the channel. Please do subscribe. Also click the notification bell so that your phone gets a little ping pong every single time that I upload. Also join the membership space because we talk about things like this on there. We talk about life. We talk about love. We talk about sex. We talk about mental health. We talk about so many other things in the membership space as well. So welcome to the video. Welcome to this here contentious video because I might drop some things that some of y'all will not agree with. And I might also drop some things that some of y'all will agree with, but let's get into it. We're going to have a conversation about it. Let's get into the video. All right. So let's be honest. Okay. We live in a very unequal society and a lot of people, you know, some people make more money than others. Some people don't make money at all, but we all love to love and be in relationships and we all want to be with people. But money always becomes a contentious issue when it comes to relationships. And it makes sense. It makes sense as to why. Now, unfortunately, love doesn't make the relationship go round, yeah. Okay, the relationship is not going to survive on love alone. The relationship is going to need a money. It's going to need a money. And we need to have the conversation around money and making more money than your partner does. Here's the thing, or oh, they're making more money than you. I've been in situations or relationships <laughs> where I've made more money than my partner did. And I've been in situations where I'm or relationships where they make more money than I do. And I never really had an issue with it. Okay. I'm going to sit here and tell you right now for free. I never really had an issue with it because it is really important to discuss money. You need to have this con, you know, this narrative of, oh no, money is a very taboo subject, you know, in relationships, you know, tread carefully around the conversation of money. Absolutely tread carefully but have the conversation about money. If you do not have a conversation about money with your partner and there's a large discrepancy between what kind of money the other makes. So if you're here, it's fine. Maybe, maybe you'll both, but what are the chances that you're both here with your partner when it comes to making money? The one's going to be here. The one's going to be here or vice versa. And that's how, just how it is. A lot of the time, that's just how it is. But the issue is starting off Money needs to be a conversation that you have with your partner, irrespective of whether you're here or whether you're here. It doesn't matter because you need to understand how your partner views money and they need to understand how you view money. Now you could be somebody who just, you know, money comes, money goes. You know what I'm saying? You open up your hand, money's going to go. You keep it open, money's going to come right back in. I'm somebody who has that notion about life. I feel like if you want to make money and bring it into your life, you also have to be okay with letting it go. Sometimes it just be like that. My father taught me that you keep your hand open when it comes to money so that it goes out as much as the hand will remain open for it to come in. That's just how it is. John Dollar, that's how, that's how it is. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. However, a lot of young couples do not have conversations about money. We go into it, we're excited. Oh my God, I love him. Oh my God, I love her. Oh my God, they're everything. Oh my God, he's doing this, this, this. He's taking me out all the time. I'm taking her out all the time. I'm taking him out all the time, whatever, right? But you're not really having a conversation about money. What do you know about your partner when it comes to money? 
How do they view money? This is something that you need to understand. Do they waste money? Do they squander money on really the most stupidest? That's not a word. But the dumbest things. Do they squander money? Do they not know how to use money correctly? Are they in a lot of financial difficulty? Do they have a lot of things that they owe? If so, what do they owe? These are conversations that you need to have with your partner when it comes to money, especially when you are serious. Don't have money conversations if you know, who I, uh, me, I'm going to be with this person just for a couple of months. It's fine. You know, I'm just playing, playing here. It's fine. Look, you could start out playing, playing and then realize that, oh my God, I really love this person. Okay. I want to be with this person for a really long time and all of that. Then you need to have the conversation about money. This narrative that is pushed in society about how Oh, he needs to make more money than me and blah, blah, blah. And she needs to, my partner needs to make more money than me and this and that and the other I feel is hogwash. We live in an unequal society. If you are going to want somebody who makes more money than you, you are drastically narrowing the pool of the people. <laughs> You're drastically narrowing the pool of the people who can come into your life and actually make a successful relationship with you work. Also, consider that with women, women are making a money these days. Okay? Women are making a money these days. And I love to see it. I love to see it. So the thing is, as a gent, are you going to put yourself in this position where you're like, nah, I refuse to be with a woman who makes more money than me. I refuse to, I refuse, I refuse. They're going to emasculate me. They're going to make me feel like I'm not enough. They're going to make me feel like I'm not doing enough for the relationship. They're going to go out there doing all these things for me that I can't do for them. And at the end of the day, it's going to make me feel inadequate. Are you serious? So if you are thinking or walking into a relationship with that kind of mindset that I want to make more money than my partner at all times, also consider the fact that you are narrowing down the pool of the person that you are or the type of person that you want to be with. It's facts. I don't care who's going to say what. Okay. And money shouldn't be the biggest dictator of whether your relationship is successful or not. I don't care who says what. Okay. Money is important in a relationship. Do not get me wrong, but money should not be the biggest determining factor, whether your relationship is successful or not. I do not care who says what there are many other things that contribute to the success of a relationship, not just money is money required. Yes. Ye yes. Okay, because there are certain things that need to happen or that do happen in relationships that require a money. But the thing is to get started when you realize that you and your person are getting more serious and oh my gosh, this relationship is getting to a serious place and we're doing this. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't believe it. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? Once you get to that point in your relationship, Money is a conversation that needs to be had. And let me tell you something about having the money conversation. This is not a conversation that's going to happen on WhatsApp. This is not a conversation that's going to be taken on a Zoom call. This is not a conversation that's going to be taken while your partner is on their lunch break. Okay? This is a serious conversation. And if you're willing to bring seriousness to it because your relationship is serious, note that there are things that you are going to have to be open and accountable to when it comes to your partner, when you're going to have these conversations about money. Like, uh, I still owe my car. I owe about 300,000 on my car right now. And, uh, yeah, I still owe my house. Uh, I mean, I recently bought my house. So yeah, the bond is, I mean, the house costs 1.5 million and this and this and, and you know, um, uh, yeah, you know, bond installments are about 15,000 a month and this and this and this. Okay. These are conversations you have to have. Now I'm talking about serious relationships here. I'm not talking about people. You understand? I just want to have fun, but that person must have more money than me. Fine. Each to their own. But if you're in a serious relationship where you're looking to commit long-term for the future, you're going to have to divulge that kind of information. Do you owe, are you living beyond your means or are you living within your means or are you living below your means? How are you living your life right now? Because money is going to be integrated between the two of you. 
You're going to use it between the two of you. And I can tell you something about making, being a woman that has made more money than a man in a relationship. It is hard because they feel emasculated, like, oh, I can't do all these things that you do for me. And I can't do this and this, and I can't do whatever, whatever, how you approach that as a partner to your person is very important. You can make more money than your partner in the relationship, but are you going to emasculate them because you do? Are you going to make them feel like they're not good enough because you do? Maybe you're in a same sex relationship. Are you going to make them feel like they're not good enough because now you make more money than they do? And now you you feel like you can call the shots. Is it going to change your personality? Is money going to change who you are and how you receive yourself to your partner and to the world and what you project? So maybe you start your relationship with your partner and you don't make as much money. But as you grow together in the relationship, you start making buku money. Now you start making money from different avenues. You start making multiple streams of income. Now, is that going to change who you are or how you relate to your partner? This is very important. Again, is money going to be something that changes you? Money can change you for the better. Money can also change you for the worst. But if you still note that in our relationship, we do not let money cross the boundary of respect. We do not make money cross the boundary of treating each other with respect, loyalty, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now that I have money, now I feel like I can run my mouth with you. No, no. And if you have those kinds of conversations with your partner, then money should not be an issue as to how much who makes and this makes what and what, 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 what. You must have this conversation by sitting down with your person and saying, we need to talk about money. Y'all need to be open. You have to be honest. You have to bring yourself and be present for this conversation. Because there's things like trips and things like buying this and things like doing this for your partner that will involve money and doing that for your partner that will involve money and this and this. Are you going to make them feel shitty for it at the end of the day? Yeah, when I bought you a Kindle and, and, and you haven't done anything for me and I bought you a TV and you haven't done anything for me and Mina, I, I changed your tires last month and, and what, what did you do for me? There's a thing, you can't keep score when it comes to money in relationships. If you're going to keep score, you're going to be in trouble because you cannot walk through the life of your relationship with your partner and keep score about what I did, this I did, I want to one up her on this. Oh my gosh, she's already bought me three gifts. I need to buy her five. Oh my gosh, she's already done this, this for me. I need to do this. I, Money shouldn't be a tally counter as to what you've done for each other. It shouldn't matter. The reality is it really should not matter. If you've had the conversation about money, you know that, okay, this is how she feels about money. This is where she's at financially. This is how he feels. This is where he's at. This is how they feel. This is how, where they at. Then you know what you can bring to the table for each other within the relationship. If your partner understands that you earn less, they don't have to know how much you earn, especially if you're not married. They don't have to know directly, oh, this is how much you earn to the last cent, no. But they know that you do not earn as much as they do, that's fine. When they know, they, at least expectations are realistic. Expectations of what you expect from your partner financially or what they can do for you or what they can't do for you or how they can assist you or how they can't assist you financially, that is good. It, it literally, literally, if not lowers the expectations when it comes to money, it makes them more realistic. And you're better off having realistic expectations for, um, of your partner when it comes to money than having unrealistic ones. You cannot think that, oh my gosh, my partner makes more money than me. Therefore, my partner is always going to be the one who's supposed to pay for this and that and that and the other. Nonsense. I honestly feel like if you're going to bring, if you're going to want to be treated equally in a relationship as an equal partner who brings equally whatever you bring to the relationship, 
whether it be through trust and loyalty and respect and whatever, do the same when it comes to money. Treat it the same way when it comes to money. That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real talk. Let's not sit here and say that, oh, me, I want me a moneyed man and whatever, whatever, while you sit on your ass and you do nothing for that person, but you expect them to constantly be bringing, contributing, bringing, bringing, contributing to you. Why? At which point can you just not do something nice for your partner as well? And what's wrong with doing something nice for your partner as well or spending money on your partner as well? Why? What is the issue? And then if you feel like you've already had the conversation about money, the real true conversation about money, and now you're serious about each other, work out a budget that works for you, especially for the both of you. Sit down, work out a budget that works for the both of you when it comes to money and spending money for the both of you each month. So you guys are people who like to go out and eat out. I like to go out and I eat out with my partner all the time. All the time. But I do not expect him to be footing the bill all the time. That's ridiculous. It's, 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 un, it's, un, um, it's unfair, but also at the same time it's unrealistic. So you're expecting this person to constantly be footing the bill, whether it comes to buying you this and getting you that, and also at the same time calling them and wanting a money, and then at the same time wanting to be wined and dined the whole week, and then this and this and this. Okay, what are you doing? It's unrealistic. Right? So work out a budget that, okay, this is what I can bring forth each month. This is what I can bring forth each month. And then if there's extras here and there, if somebody wants to throw in a little bit of extras here and there, whatever. I'm talking about committed equal relationships here. I'm not talking about people who go out and try to find people who have money so that they can live a certain type of lifestyle. I'm not talking about people like that. I'm talking about the average Joe, the average everyday Yolanda and Smosis. I'm talking about the average Gateo and Tebu. I'm talking about the average, the average person, right, who wants to just be in a healthy, equal relationship where money isn't a driving force, right? So then you work out a budget that works for the both of you. This is what I can bring forward. This is what you can bring forward. Cool. So this is how much we have to play with each month after we've paid for our debts that we both know about shouldn't cause a problem. So whether they earn that much and you earn here, it shouldn't cause a problem if you've had these kinds of conversations. So another thing is that is really, really important, especially when it comes to money and relationships and making more money than the other compromise. You have to compromise as much as you're in this relationship and you're going to be doing things together. You're going to be traveling together. You're going to be eating out together. You're going to be attending functions together. You're going to be doing this, all these things that require money. You have to compromise and say that, okay, as much as I can do this for the relationship and I can do it every day if I wanted to, because the money it's there, you have to consider that you don't want to make your partner feel uncomfortable. So there's certain things that, you know, draw back on. A little bit you don't have to constantly be doing this and this and this and this they might just feel uncomfortable and that's 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 a, a a true realistic way to feel and it's a fair way to feel when my partner's constantly doing all these things for me but financially I can't do them so how am I gonna feel I'm gonna feel guilty I'm gonna feel uncomfortable I'm gonna end up feeling like oh no it's fine we don't have to do this we don't have to do this so you must find a way in which you can compromise even though you know that you could do it all the time and they can't do it all the time just reduce just reduce do it in such a way that it would be comfortable for them and not make them feel emasculated or unworthy or not good enough or like they need to make more money now and what have you and all of that. Do it in such a way that it makes them feel comfortable. It's fine that my person is earning more money and I'm earning this. It's fine. It's okay. Because they don't make me feel uncomfortable when it comes to how they spend their money on themselves or even on me. So... Basically, I think that's where I'm going to end it. I want to hear your opinions on how you feel about money in relationships. Are you a 50-50 girl or guy? Or do you feel like that does not work in relationships? This 50-50 business is not... I personally feel it doesn't work. I personally feel it doesn't work. No, no, no. You bring what you can to the relationship. It's fine. It doesn't matter. But I feel like personally, 50-50 in relationships is just... 
the 50 50 concept i don't know bro it doesn't work i'm not gonna split the bill 50 50 with you every time we go out i'm not gonna split the bill 50 50 every time we go on holiday or whatever sometimes we can but we don't have to do it all the time if you literally break it down to a t each and every single time 50 50 it's not gonna work but if you have money conversations with your partner and figure out a way around it you can make a relationship like this when it comes to money work much like you can make a relationship that like this when it comes to money work as well but i do want to hear your opinions it's real talk it's i haven't done real talk in a while so i would love to hear your opinions on how you feel about making more money in a relationship or how you feel about the concept of money in relationships let's talk about it in the comments down below share this video with other people let's talk about it let's create a conversation around this i'd love to hear your thoughts and read your thoughts let me know and uh, don't forget to repost reshare all of that. Join the family, subscribe, do all those good things, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara!